Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, January 20th, Inauguration Day, and I have some empties um, to share with you. Um, not a whole lot this week because we're having some work done on the house. Um, I might have told some of you that I recently retired, and which was a great idea, by the way. I didn't know I would be enjoying this so much. Um, it's really nice to have more time. Um, the house is cleaner. I'm enjoying my wax, working on new music. Um, I have more time with my husband. It's okay. Uh, you know, it's uh, more relaxing than I would have thought. And we're doing some work on the house as a retirement gift. So you might hear a little noise in the background. They are, we're having the house painted inside and we're putting down new floors. So I'm very excited and um, I'm looking forward to the finished product. I'll post some before and after on Instagram. So I don't have as many empties as I normally would. Most of these are Scentsy, but I have a couple other items and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So first of all, I did finish a hand soap. This was the gentle gel format, which is not my favorite. I prefer the deep cleaning or the, um, the looks uh, version, but this was okay. And I was happy that there was a, a good bit of scent to this. Uh, not a lot of dry down, but at least when I was washing, I could really smell the marshmallow fireside, and I love that scent. Uh, the, the one I had before this one, um, I had Vanilla Bee Noel, which was really unscented, so I was concerned, and this one was much better, so I enjoyed that. Then I had some samples, um, Circus Cake from the Bathing Garden. This is a beautiful scent, um, kind of a white cake and a bit of strawberry. Uh, I enjoyed it and it was long lasting. And as always, um, Shannon is very generous with her samples. I made an order of her holiday scents and she gave me so many samples, so thank you, Shannon. Next from Sweet Sage Scents, I have a sample in Cookie Monster. I've become quite the cookie fan in wax from someone who thought they didn't like bakery. That wasn't true. So this was sugar cookie, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and vanilla bee noel. So wow, it's so good, delicious, high throw. Um, sweet sage scents, don't sleep on this vendor. Really excellent throw. Very, very good. The rest of these are scentsy, and I have talked about some of them before. So I will move along through these. The first is one of my very favorites, which is cedar cider. So this has cedar wood and apple cider and um, the spicing is just right. This is a very woody, oh, it's just beautiful. This is one of my favorites. I love this. So really long lasting. This is a strong one, lasted a long time. Next up, we have Jack's Obsession from the Nightmare Before Christmas um, hair. I believe there was another one called This is Halloween or Halloween Town. And this is green apple, clove, and cinnamon. And this one is also in my club as is cedar cider. Oh, I love this. I really like green apple um, more than mac apple. This is so delicious. And the spicing is just right. You have clove and cinnamon, and it's um, it's nicely balanced. So I enjoy this very much. Beautiful. And I got good throw in that one, too. Usually Scentsy I put in Yankee Centerpiece or Scentsy Warmers, and I get great results with almost all of them. Not all, but almost all. This one's going today. Walnut Raisin Muffin. Oh, I love this. Also in my club. So you really get that juicy raisin, you get a nuttiness from the walnut, and then you get a nice crumbly muffin bakery note in the background. So beautiful. Love it. Apple S'mores, which is a cousin of Cedar Cider. So again, I think this is misnamed. It should be Marshmallow Apple Cedar to me. Those are the notes that are, are noticeable. This is kind of a sweeter version. Uh, you get that marshmallow, sweeter version of Cedar Cider. So you have marshmallow in there as well as the apple and the, um, the cedar. I love this. Love it, love it, love it, and it's in my club. Then we have Snowberry. I melted this yesterday. This was new to me, and I really enjoyed this. It's different. So you have um, peppermint, strawberry, loganberry, and cinnamon. So I was a little nervous because I thought, I love strawberry and peppermint together. But then with the cinnamon, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. But you hardly notice the cinnamon. It's just there. As it just warms it up a little bit. But it isn't. you would never smell this and think cinnamon. It's there. It's present. But it is not dominant in any way. So really an interesting take on the fruit and the mint together. Beautiful. Love it. Also in my club. My club is bulging. But hey. 
brownie batter, not in my club. Um, I liked it. This is exactly like it sounds. This is the most chocolatey, most wet, and it's as if you just made the batter and it's very rich and you've put so much cocoa in it and you're stirring it up and of course you're tasting it. it is, it's like you fell into a vat of chocolate. So I liked it, my husband liked it, and after about four hours we were going, you know, there's a limited time you can really enjoy that much chocolate. This is extremely strong and extremely rich. It's nice. Once a year I would melt this, you know, it's, it's fine. I don't want this all the time. So that's brownie batter. And last but certainly not least, lavender and white balsam. So this is a beautiful, woody, slightly herbal lavender. Um, and the white balsam is just a beautiful, um, well-carrying scent. This traveled well throughout the home. And um, that herbal lavender and the wood together is really nice, very restful scent. So I enjoyed that. And that's it. So see, kind of a light week, um, but, but it was a good week. So I hope everybody's well, stay safe, and um, that's it for today. So until next time, hug your families, take care, and um, bye for now.